As parts of India and Pakistan battle toxic smog, they have overtaken cities in China as the world's top air pollution capitals. Chinese cities are seeing better air quality. Well, this year's latest official data shows the first nine months of 2024 coming off better than last year. Is China's once deadly smog gone for good? CNA's Tan Chiu Yi finds out. From this to this. Blue skies are back in China's big cities. Air pollution levels fell 54% over the past 10 years, faster than any other country in the world. China has set an unprecedented example for how fast a country can tackle air pollution when political will, social will, and resources align. Government data shows Chinese cities are seeing good air quality about 80% of the time. For Beijing, it was 90% good days in 2023 and about 2% very bad days. That's eight days of severe air pollution in a year, but six were due to sandstorms. How did China do it? It declared war on air pollution in 2013 with this action plan, now dubbed China's most influential environmental policy, setting out the Herculean task to control air pollution. It moved heavy industries away from big cities like Beijing, encouraged buildings and households to switch to clean heating and electrified road transport. Here is a fun fact. Shenzhen in southern China became the first city in the world to electrify its entire fleet of 17,000 public buses way back in 2017. Air pollution control costs money and China was willing to pay. The central government invests about $4.2 billion in air pollution control every year. China's airpocalypse, something that made global news headlines for years, looks like it's over. Or is it? My apartment was this. I also checked in with our Beijing correspondent, Olivia Xiong. Ta-da! This is my air purifier. I have one here in the living room. Uh, I also have one in my bedroom. And, um, you know, I have it on most of the time. While there are windows in the house, obviously, I do have them shut most of the time. Uh, depending on the air quality of the day, of course, when it's obvious that the air quality is great, I take the opportunity, every opportunity to open my windows to let some fresh air in. And Olivia has something she calls... The mountain index. So if you look out on a really clear, good air day, you're actually able to see mountains in the background. But as you can see from today, uh, the air quality is not great. A mountain index. That's right. <laughs> not scientific. I must say. <laughs> Winter is peak pollution season in Beijing, mostly because of increased coal burning for heating and power generation. 99.9% .9 of China's 1.4 billion people still live in areas where average air pollution levels exceed the World Health Organization guidelines. And there are still bad air days. Thick smog hit Beijing in March 2023, just as the capital was holding key parliamentary meetings. That year, levels of PM2.5, or tiny particles of air pollution, saw a spike after falling for 10 years. You often see air pollution cited uh, in terms of the number of people it kills. It's millions across the world every year. Um, but that number is so large and so difficult to connect uh, with your own life. Krista's research team has made that connection. Their Air Quality Life Index translates air pollution into the impact on human life expectancy. And it shows people are losing as much as 3.2 years of life on average in China's most polluted region, which includes Beijing. That's not just necessarily at the end of a long life, that also uh, factors in lives that are cut short, like children or babies who are even more deeply affected by air pollution than, say, adult populations. 
China issued a new air quality action plan in December to cut PM 2.5 levels by 10% by 2025. It's a good move, but experts say these targets are getting harder and harder to meet. There's a still a long way to go, but uh, you know the uh, the uh, re- improving the air quality is because of this lower hanging fruit uh, is no longer there. It will be a more uh, sort of uphill battle. <laughs> A University of Chicago study says China's battle against air pollution has improved air quality for the whole world. The question is, can it continue the good fight? Tan Chiu Yi, CNA, Singapore.